A first step in understanding imagination is to consider what psychological processes are involved. For instance, forming mental images. Artist Isam Korbaj. My memories as a child will stay vividly in my mind. The color of the city appears uh, every now and again in my paintings. There is a painting called Nostalgia and all about the color, all about the, the air of that, that particular memory. Now, as a child, I used to love to lie down and look at these different shapes. And I could see that this is my open book, if you like. Here is a chance for me to imagine this is a cloud or this is a horse or this is a conversation, if you like. This endless possibilities. One thing which is necessary for imagination is the capacity to mentally represent things. So the capacity to run through experiences that we've had or indeed to think about experiences that we might have. So it's seeing things in the mind's eye or indeed hearing them in the mind's ear. Imagination also involves, crucially, the capacity to conceive of one thing in terms of something else, to think symbolically. Imagination also requires the capacity to manipulate mental representations and to form new or novel things. So, for instance, a composer will work with familiar notes or familiar fragments of melody, but put them together to produce something which is completely new, and very often do that with a lot of fluidity. So he or she may generate not just one composition, but many different ones. Isam assembles parts of everyday objects, often found in skips, to make sculptural forms which have a new identity, something which they were not before. Generally speaking, my work is about this, the unconnectable, the personal connection, if you like. I'm sure that is for somebody else, these are not necessarily connectable things, but for me they do connect because they reflect particular memories. Uh, I like the idea of each experience has its own presence, but connecting it to another experience, the juxtaposition of two. Imagination, then, involves the capacity to represent images in the mind, to think symbolically and to operate flexibly, generating novel ideas and outputs. Thank you.